3D tracking is one of the most amazing techniques that you can use in After Effects to add lots of value to your video production. And today we're gonna learn how to do this in a very easy way. Let's roll the intro. Hey everybody, welcome back to EMC Tutorials, I'm Jaime and today I prepared an amazing video on how to 3D track your drone or your camera footage in Adobe After Effects. If you're ready, let's get into this. Alright guys, let's start off by showing you the footage that we are going to use today. So first of all, we have a drone footage. This is a pretty stable footage that I took in uh, South Dakota in the US. And also, I took this footage that is a little bit more shaky, actually pretty shaky, but we can also use it for our tutorial. And let's see how we can transform this footage into a better result. So let's start off by uh, dragging this into our software. So let's add this here. Let's drag this over to uh, this little icon over here to create the pre-comp. And the first thing we need to do is to go and find the tracker uh, panel over here and just click on top of track camera. So just that you will see that you will get a notification over here that uh, your footage is being analyzed and uh, all the tracking points are getting ready for us to uh, work with. So let's wait a little bit. Uh, it depends on the length of the video and also depends on how fast is your computer, how powerful is your computer. Let's see how it goes. All right, so after a few minutes, we have our footage ready and fully analyzed with a lot of different tracking points. You can see them uh, all over the place on top of this rock, uh, on the trees, uh, on this side of the mountain, on those uh, rocks over there, everywhere. So this is pretty good. They look pretty solid. Uh, they don't move at all. This is like, something that we were expecting so because uh, we need our text or the element that we're going to put on top of the footage to uh, be pretty solid and uh, to look as natural as possible in terms of movement. Now, let's uh, talk about this red thing, this target that all the time appears when I pass over the tracking points. This target represents the angle of three points. If I click it, I will get three points that are actually giving or providing the information of this target uh, to represent the angle of the objects that we're going to place over there. For example, if I go over here, those three are pretty good. If I decide to use this side of the of this rock to, I don't know, place a, um, a graffiti on top of this rock or something like that. Uh, however, what we are looking for is something pretty flat, something like this. So we can uh, either click on that or we can also draw uh, the ones that we want, the points that we want. If we, if we can get as many as you can and you will get um, some sort of a result depending on the points that you select. Now, if you right click on it, you will create a null and a camera. And as soon as you uh, do that, you get two different layers. And now let's go and create two uh, different uh, text layers. So the first one is going to be South and the other one is going to be Dakota. So this is going to be our title, animated title on top of that footage. Let's flip this so it's going to be even better. Now let's um, create a null object to just group those two into one controller. Uh, let's uh, reduce this in size. And uh, right now it doesn't move and uh, it looks good. However, we are looking for integrating the movement of uh, the footage. So uh, the movement of the footage is gonna provide the movement that is gonna be in our text. So uh, to do that, it's important to, uh, when because you are working in a 3D environment this in this time we have a camera that is actually moving as the drone was moving at the time so uh, to do that to make those elements uh, be in the uh, 3d environment as is the camera we need to uh, activate the 3d uh, option over here 
now let's go get back to the normal view right now we have pretty much uh, everything ready and actually it's working if you just play the bottom you will have the motion of uh, that scene and this is pretty good and this is actually what we were looking for okay let's play it back that looks just fantastic uh, now let's uh, talk about what if I want to position this text further away not as close as it is right now so I recommend to go and have two views and uh, check the top view and with the null object that is uh, actually grouping those two uh, layers of text we'll use this and drag it to the back to the very back and you will have uh, your text moving all the way back as much as you want if you want to position uh, your text all over the way like close to this mountain you can you can do that or right, let's uh, for the purpose of this example let's keep it like that and let's see how it goes that looks just perfect for me now let's have another challenge let's go to project and uh, let's select our handheld um, footage let's create a pre-comp and if you can see this footage is pretty pretty shaky it's not as stable as we have in our previous footage and uh, let's see how it goes with this one let's uh, do the same process let's go to tracker let's click on track camera and let's wait a little bit till this gets totally solved okay we have our footage already tracked and uh, for the sake of analyzing the tracking points let's increase the size of them so we can see what we have so uh, we have quite a lot uh, on this side and on this side too not on the uh, flat like very flat surfaces like this one over here which doesn't have any sort of contrast whereas uh, on the grass over here they, they have a lot of contrast to stick in uh, also on the trees for this time let's select one sort of points from this side and one sort of points from this other side so we'll have a uh, plenty of information to work with now let's uh, right click on the target and create a null any camera and we will have this ready to create our text layers south and let's create another one Coda. let's move this to the bottom of it and let's uh, stylish a little bit the upper one uh, also let's add a null object just to group them and uh, play with it as we want that is good and now remember to to enable the 3d option on each layer that we're going to use for this if you can see when as soon as i activate it the text is going to be a little bit uh like tweaked on the y-axis so let's take the null let's use the null and let's uh, organize it a little bit so that can happen and uh, that looks pretty good to me and let's see how it goes in terms of movement That's pretty good. Let's uh, avoid this hard hit on in here and let's move our um, null object a bit to the side. So we'll have a clearance over there. That's good. Okay, so we have this. However, uh, I can notice a little bit of uh, jerky movements in this part so to solve that out if it's happened to you because this is a very shaky uh, footage you go and uh, hit U, and uh, you'll get all the uh, keyframes that it's uh, been used for the 3d tracking uh, camera uh, for the 3d camera and we need to uh, just delete some points the ones that probably are the most problematic ones and the idea is just to let the software interpolate the, mov the movement instead of just having those uh, keyframes over there.
let's see how it goes. Yeah, the movement just look better right now. And let's see how it goes in general. Here we have this jerky movement. Let's see how it goes like that. That's even better. Okay, we're getting to the end of this tutorial and we have our text in place. And uh, also we have our drone footage with a nice text on top that will provide a lot of value to the, uh, your productions. And um, that's it. Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was useful for you and if you really like our content, please hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already and on that note, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.